Hello everybody, welcome back to more Elden Ring. In this one we're going to be taking on Knight Loretta. So we are going to start from the mana upper level, mostly because I want to show the route, uh, if you don't want to take very much damage when you're going up here. Um, I am aware that there is a glitch for this boss at the moment, at the time of recording this video. Um, but I'm going to fight it, I don't want to use it. So I'll try to show it just for those that want to see it in action. I'm unsure if you can do it on her first encounter though, so you'll see how this goes. But it basically just involves hiding in a corner, quitting out, reloading the game, and then she will be um, unable to fight you. She won't trigger because of the boss gate, basically. Um, I expect that something like that will get patched. It might not. Um, I've had plenty of... Ish um, what's the word? <laughs> Issues like this before, where, um, you know, there are unscrupulous ways to deal with some of the bosses, and they don't always get patched out. This is the most dangerous part, like, in terms of, if you want to get in here undamaged, this is the person that's going to, um, most likely hit you. Take them out of range, melee, whatever it is you want to do. I'm just, um, rushing in for now. So to trigger this boss fight then, we just step into the water and we are going to uh, do it at the closest point to these steps. This is where I want to fight her anyway, um, so regardless as to whether or not this works, this is where we're going. So you just want to come on up into a corner, you can get into your menu quickly, you want to get to your quit out menu. And then load it back up. This is the means of the glitch. And we'll see if this works. Yeah, I've ordered it won't, right? Okay, it's just put us outside the bathroom. Looks like it's been patched already. Which I am mostly happy about. So we're just going to run back over to exactly where we were. If it works for you guys, let me know. But um, we were going to fight her anyway. So we're still going to come up this way. This is exactly where I like to fight. Um, in the stream, she was quite susceptible to um, Glintstone Phalanx. We're just going to let our summon take some heat here whilst we set ourselves up. So we can either um, choose her from another corner now while she's targeting the summon. Um, really isn't going to be taking that damage. I still haven't put the bubble tier on my character yet, which is probably a bit of a flawed strategy, really. Um, she will kind of second phase up eventually, so just be, be aware of that. Excuse me. We're just going to go ahead and just do this because it works nicely. So that's where she can really start doing some real damage because she's going to have her own crazy looking uh, Glintstone Phalanx. Oh, you fall off, we go. There you go. Excuse me, summon, do your job. Attract some attention, please. You don't get hit by this. <laughs> That will hurt. Oops. Oh my god. Could all go down here. <laughs> she can mess you up. What? It's gonna be now Loretta done. And Loretta's great bow acquired. Also her uh, weapon, which is cool. Um so yeah, that deals with Knight Loretta. I don't know what else we should do in this episode. I think I'm going to keep her separate because she's a cool fight. And I feel like people will look for her because she's... Well, she's challenging. I feel like the, the room describes itself to you. Like if you, if you have a look around, you'll see that, that is like kind of tight. And she's on a horse. She wants to be bounding around the arena. Um, and we can prevent her from doing that. So either way, we'll end this episode here. I know it's shorter than the others. 
Uh, but in the, the next episode, I don't want to like put all of this spoiler stuff in without telling people that that is going to be majorly in the video. So hopefully this helps some of you guys out and I'll catch you all in the next one.